Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you 3D Pythagoras in a square base pyramid. So let's have a look at the example here. So we've got a square base pyramid with a side length of 4 centimeters around the base and the sloping edge of the pyramid is 11 centimeters. So our first question is to work out the length A to C, so this is this length here. Now it's probably best that you draw out the right angle triangle which you're going to use. This will be triangle ABC. It just makes it easier to do. You don't have to do it if you don't want to though. So A to B is 4 centimetres. And B to C is also 4 centimetres because it's a square base pyramid. And A to C is this side here. So it's the longest side of our right angle triangle. So since we've got two sides and we need a third we can use Pythagoras. So if we square 4 squared is 16. So again our other side is 4 squared which is also 16. So we're going to add these together because we're after the longest side. So that's 32. And then we're going to square root 32. And that will give us... Uh, well, it simplifies to 4 root 2 first. Let's write that down because it might be useful for our part B. And then... Let's just put it as a decimal as well. So it's 5.66. Okay. So we've got our answer in third form, 4 root 2, or as a decimal, 5.66. So for part B, then we've got to find A to M. So M is the midpoint of the square. And it's just halfway in between A to C. So we just need to half this answer here. So I'm going to half the third answer because it's much easier to do. So half times 4 root 2 will give us 2 root 2. If you want that as a decimal, just type it in on your calculator, it would be 2.83. So as you can see, it's best to work with the thirds if you can, because it makes the next answer more accurate. And then part C, you've got to find E to M. So E to M is this length here. So the right angle triangle this time we're going to use will be A, M and E. So again, I'm just going to sketch that one out. So A, M, E. So we've got A to E, which is 11. Uh, we've got A to M, which we worked out in the last one. So it's best to use the third, so 2 root 2. And we're working out the height of the pyramid E to M. So again, we've got two sides of a right angle triangle. And we need to work out the third side, the shorter side. So if we square our measurements, so 11 squared is 121. So we've got a square 2 root 2. So you could do this on your calculator. Um, I'm just going to work it out by hand now. Um, so it would be 2 root 2 times 2 root 2. 2 2 is a 4. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, and then since we're finding the shorter side, we can take 8 away to, from 121, which is 113. And then we've got a square root of 113. So I don't think that third simplifies. Let's just check. No, it doesn't. So that's the answer in third form. If you want it as a decimal, then just SD it. So we get 10.63.
and that's your final answer so i hope you liked this video if you did make sure you like and subscribe thanks for watching guys bye bye